I have all the parts here to construct a double column trophy. The pieces are laid out on the table, including my packing list and my instructions. Now remember, if you ordered multiple size trophies, you need to measure your columns and your rods to make sure you're dealing with the right parts to build the trophy that you want. The first step is to install the upper left and right trim to the rods. You want to take the threaded rod with a coupler, put the trim on top. Now you get your choice. We chose star trim for both left and right sides. After you've done that, you want to pass these two rods through the lid. Now the marble lid is smaller than the marble base and it only has a countersunk on the back. So you pass the rods through the marble, lay it down on the table, and then get your check ring and column. Now the check rings have a lip that always goes away from the marble. The column sits inside and seats. If you put it upside down, you'll crush the check ring. So put a check ring on first, then a column. Same thing on the other side. Check ring, then a column. And then you finish each column off with a check ring. So, like so. And here. Now, attach your base. Make sure the base has countersunk on the back and it's larger than the lid. Pass the metal rods through the holes in the base and attach this using ferrules. Now these are 3 8 ferrules included in the kit. Some kits use hex nuts, but you want to make sure that you use the ferrules, whatever your instructions say. Okay, using the hex driver, I get the two on. Now, I don't want to over tighten it because I still need to make adjustments. So once I get it threaded on just enough so that I can make changes to it without damaging anything, I set it up and line up the pieces the way that I want them and then lay them down and tighten it. Now, don't tighten it too much. You can break things, but you at least want it tight enough so that it isn't going to move whenever somebody's handling the trophy. All right, that works out well. Now that the lower section is finished, it's time to move on to the upper section. Take your upper threaded rod using the short threaded section to the coupler and attach your figure to the coupler. This is the female victory figurine, but we have hundreds to choose from on our website. You want to use your column and lid. This is a plastic lid. Pass that through the rod. Pass your column through here, lining up the column with the lid and attaching it to the top marble lid of your trophy using a hex nut. You don't want to try to get this done in one swoop because you've got several moving pieces here. So just get it tight enough so that you can center each piece, lining it up, and finally holding the figurine and tightening the hex nut. That'll prevent anything from moving when you get it tight. Again, not so tight that you can break it. All right, next, move to your lower trim, which we chose star trim for this one. Attach that using a hex nut, and then you can move on to your nameplate. Now, don't get anything too tight, just enough so it won't move. The nameplate is made of metal, and it has double-sided tape on the back. So remove the double-sided tape, and remember not to damage the metal of the nameplate while you're installing it. Line it up carefully. Once you get it centered, just a nice even pressing across and you've just constructed a double column trophy from trophykits.com.